This is another use of artificial intelligence in unmanned mind and IED detection vehicle developed by Indian Army. And I am being joined by Captain Raj Prasad from Indian Army. Sir, tell us about your innovation. So I am Captain Raj Prasad from the Army Design Bureau of uh, Indian Army. So this project is called the Sapper Scout. Uh, basically, this technology uh, is for the Corps of Engineers, where one of the biggest challenges that we have is mine uh, field breaching. As you know, in all Parakram, we lost a lot of casualties breaching our own minefield. So that is one big problem statement we have. So as you know, today we do manual breaching and apart from that we have troll tanks to breach. But troll tanks being premium assets, we can't use it everywhere. So we have a cost uh, effective solution which is called the Sapper Scout, wherein this unmanned UGV, uh, uh, mine detection vehicle, goes heads of the infantry troops, detects the mine, marks the mine with an illuminating spray so that it can be detect detected during both day and night making it easier for the troops to evade the mine teams. Okay. Neutralizing of mines will be manually done because every mine has a different neutralizing technique. There is no point load of more than 9 kgs at uh, you know any part of the vehicle so that it doesn't actuate a mine. So how long it took you to develop this and how many people were involved? So uh, I developed this uh, in College of Military Engineering uh, because that is the training establishment for the Corps of Engineers. So I developed this uh, uh, there. Now this project is being taken uh, up as a, a, a collaborative research and development through IDEX uh, Prime Room which was launched by the Honorable uh, Defense Minister a couple of months back. Right. So where other areas we see the application of this uh, robot? Yeah. Apart from what I am, as you know, uh, CICT ops are uh, happening on a daily, uh, you know, day-to-day -day basis. We have the threat of RCIDs or IEDs as such, uh, you know, improvised explosive devices, wherein the militants use it as, uh, you know, a mechanism to uh, deter our forces. So what we do is this uh, UGP can go ahead detect the mines, sorry, detect the IEDs and, uh, you know, uh, using explosives, we can deliver explosives using unmanned drone vehicles and remotely uh, blast it. Blast it. So that is the best way of handling RC IEDs. So urban warfare is uh, another area where you can use this. Can you just show how this operates, sir? This is your remote uh, station. So, uh, what are other areas like, uh, do you see any improvement possibilities in this in future course? Uh, yeah. Because induction is yet to be done. Yes. So, what, what are the areas with, uh, which Army is still looking in for to, to get embedded or to improve? See, uh, Army uh, as a study has uh, undertaken uh, in-house research and development. But as servicemen, we can only develop it to a particular stage and uh, further we require hand-holding of, you know, uh, the uh, startup ecosystem and the industrial ecosystem in the country to become development agencies so that we can take it forward. So uh, that is where the Army Design Bureau uh, acts as a nodal uh, you know, uh, agency. It creates the synergy between the academia, industry, startups, DRDU, the four different main verticals who support the uh, you know, defense innovation ecosystem in the country. And to apprise you, the Army Design Bureau has now taken an initiative of establishing the first of its kind in the country, Indian Army Cell at IIT Delhi. So there was a time when all these agencies used to come to us uh, with technologies. Now what we have done is establishing an Indian Army Cell at IIT Delhi. So I am put up there. Uh, now we have, we are carrying out too many things there. For example, one is the in-house research and development which we do uh, at IIT Delhi. Apart from that, we synergize with the academia, the technologies which the professors at IIT Delhi work you know, which has use cases for the military, we harness them. And apart from that, there are a lot of startups which are incubating inside IIT Delhi. So what we do is we reach out to them, share our problem statements and undertake user in the loop development. So what they develop is actually having a direct use case for the military. So my last question is how you making this uh, robot and artificial intelligence fail proof in detecting bombs or explosives? Sir? See, technology uh, has to be harnessed, especially artificial intelligence has to be harnessed as a uh, decision support tool. 
when I say decision support tool today, if I have to manually go, it assists me in telling where the mine is. But utilizing the mine is manually being done. Similarly, for any other AI-based weapon system, a full autonomy at this stage uh, uh, is again, you know, we have a long way forward to uh, attain uh, full autonomy. But still, uh, in today's context, it should be uh, used as a decision support tool for the soldier on the ground. Nothing can change the soldier, soldier, soldier on the ground. And that's also part of the ethics yeah. which AI should be considered uh, having developing such technologies. Thank you for speaking. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.